Hello YouTube family, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Sharita. Welcome, and if you are a returning viewer, thank you all so much for the love and the continued support of my channel. Today's video, we will get into fragrances that have been my most worn for this summer. I'm looking at this in majority of these are 2023 releases, if I'm not mistaken, but without a doubt, <laughs> full blown obsessions. I'm flying through the bottles. The dents are ridiculous and I love them. <laughs> so I cannot stop spraying them, making them my most worn for the summer. So without further ado, you guys, let's jump right into today's video. All right. So I know my look is light a lot and it's really extra today. I did my Barbie video. <laughs> that one's already probably aired. So if you haven't seen it, make sure you check it out. But that explains like this whole hot pink fuchsia vibe. You guys, let me start with the one that obviously blew me away. Um, and I've never, I have never gotten through a bottle of perfume this fast. And it, it is not because of performance. You know, sometimes it's like the, the scent wears so, so light, giving body spray that you just, you have to keep respraying it. For me, now for me, if it performs so poorly that I would have to respray it at that level, I usually don't even pick it up that often because I'm pissed about the performance. So this one actually does have moderate performance and beautiful sillage and i do not decant it and take it with me i do not top it off throughout the day but for some reason this is what silk suntal 36 is looking like okay and the only reason that we have some remaining levels of juice is because like my butthole is so tight right now <laughs> thinking about when are they going to restock this is it going to be soon? Will they restock it? Because it is limited edition, but you guys, the Wedding Silk Suntal 36 is so beautiful. It is so beautiful and it layers beautifully with so many things. And I think that's why I have gotten through so much of this. I wear it on its own a lot or pair it with, you know, its mates, the uh, Velvet Suntal 35, but the thing is, I wear this, I have worn this damn near every day. Since this is coming to my collection, which it was gifted to me by the brand, but hello, clearly they ain't got nothing to do with the love for it. I just love the scent. This fragrance has been my sense of the day every other day. I try to stop wearing it, but I cannot. Even on days when I pick another scent, like I wore guidance the other day to work. You better believe I still topped it off with a little bit of this. And that combo is just, magnificent it's mind-blowing it's everything but this is going to layer with so many fragrances in your collection i am stalking sephora's website every day even huda whoever gets it back in stock first i'm getting it i'm getting it and for the life of me i cannot understand why this is not available in a 100 mil it's only 50 and 10 mil sizes that they have available. It is limited edition. And I feel like when it does restock, I'm probably gonna get two. Like, I don't even do backup bottles. I really don't. Um, but I need one of this, okay? Look, can you, y'all, this perfume has not been out a month yet. It released, what, June the 29th, day before my birthday. <sighs> Present day, what is it? August, the, I'm sorry, July the 18th. So it's not even been out a full month. I am obsessed with this scent. It's like this vanilla that is addictive to me. This vanilla, um, you have these gorgeous, you know, florals in it. You've got this gorgeous nectarine note and oh, this sandalwood, like what? What about this says, you should be through the whole bottle, Sharita. Uh, in less than a month. I don't know, okay? But it's got the freesia, the sparkling champagne. It's just, everything comes together to create something that I feel like is the best perfume that this house has to offer. I feel like when this dropped, so many people were maybe gonna sleep on it. Oh, I don't wanna know, I don't wanna floral, I don't want a wedding day type scent. But I don't think Akali has ever sold out this fast everywhere. Like you can't get it on Sephora. You can't get it, um, you know, Huda Beauty. Harrods, do y'all, UK girls, babes, can y'all get it? Is it sold out? Let me know. 
but stand out fragrance and okay the dent don't lie no it has not been decanted no i haven't gifted any portion of this fragrance to anyone else this is literally sprays on my body i love it that much and clearly I would highly recommend you get your nose on it when you can, okay? When it comes back, of course, I will announce it in the community tab because it's a must. It's a must have and I'm absolutely obsessed with this fragrance. Again, this is the Wedding Silk Suntol 36 by Kayla. Okay, so the next one is from my favorite perfumer. And no, it's not Guidance. <laughs> my favorite perfumer, Quentin Beach, just, he, he it, it don't take a lot for him to impress me, all right? But Valaya, I was not even going to get this, you guys. I saw the bottle and I was like, this is giving skin scent just looking at it, okay? But looks can be deceiving. Do not judge a book by its what? Cover, because this thing performs, it projects. If you love Fleur Narcotique, which I feel like a lot of people do, they just want the performance to be better on that, especially at that price point try this one because it is very similar. I feel like if you took Fleur Narcotique and you mix in Aki Gala Wood and like, like an Embroxen, you would have this scent. <laughs> they smell very similar. There are some differences where I feel like, see for me, I wasn't gonna get this because I felt like it was too close um, of a scent to Fleur and I own Fleur. But this one, I love it even more. I love it even more because it has the Akigala wood. It, everyone can smell this on me and it's a compliment getter and I love it. It lasts all day and it's still a freshie, okay? That like, you know, those two, they usually don't come around in the same sentence. Freshie, 12 hours. No, this, yes, it's white peach. Okay, you've got these gorgeous, you know, florals in here. It's like almost light, transparent quality. I don't get the laundry thing, a lot of people do, um, but there's this spicy woodiness to it. It, uh, it's got the Ambroxan, which is so addictive. I think it's like Ambroxolite or some, some like amped up version of Ambroxan. But this is just a beautiful, beautiful fragrance and I'm so happy to have this one in my collection. I have been wearing it a lot. Um, it doesn't have the biggest dent, but I feel like, again, this is such a good performer. You don't need 30 sprays of this. <laughs> uh, you really don't. I mean, and it lasts and it projects and it's just amazing. And I've been layering this a lot with Delina La Rose. Like my Delina La Rose has definitely been getting its wares this summer. But you guys, if you have both, try them both together because you're gonna smell so sweet and juicy and feminine and it's just irresistible, okay? Fresh, irresistible girl, that's you. <laughs> Again, but this one, for the sake of this video, um, is going to be Valaya, and this is from the House of Parfums de Marley. Now, if you purchase this, how can you save on this? If you purchase it through Door Prestige, I have 10% off, check the description box. And um, if you purchase it through So Avangar, you can save 20%, but I know they've been really, sold out and long stock on all the PDMs lately, but just always check the description box because I have all of my available discount codes there, but you can save on this. And I would suggest that you do because PDM has gone up and it's like 355, if I'm not mistaken, uh, 475 mil, so it's pricey. But I can see why. <laughs> okay, so the next one is going to be one that I have been ranting and raving about to the point where we are at can't see, but this is uncomfortably low amounts remaining in this bottle. This is Bon Bon Pop by the House of Oob. Came in around springtime, and I think we're down about a fourth of the bottle. And I feel like I have been pulling back on trying to wear this so much because it's going to be a repurchase. And I'm just one of those people like, I hate repurchases because them two $300 can be towards a new fragrance. And it's just like, Okay, but Sharita, you will have to repurchase it. Just like I'm gonna have to repurchase Blue Heart. And you know, this is gonna be repurchased. Like as soon as I can get my hands on it, it will be. But the House of Oud, I feel like this is the best, one of the best, if not the best offerings from the house. This is peach, okay? So right off the bat, it may not be for everyone. Peach is a tough note for many, but I feel like this is not an off note type of peach, okay? It is peach. It is like coupled with the most delicious coconut and brown sugar. And I mean, this thing 
is brown sugar ring. I feel like the brown sugar, the peach is what stands out, but this is not typical, okay? Because the patchouli and the musk, the musk, makes this into something so sensual and delicious and gourmand and you just must, you must get your nose on this, okay? You can save 20% on this one if you shop so avant-garde, but they sell, literally, they sell out the same day they get it back in stock. Like these are flying off the shelves. It's hard to save on it because it's new. So I feel like whenever I announce it is back in stock, it's so avant-garde, it sells right back out the same day because it's newer and it's hard to save 20%. <laughs> so the girlies, they get it when they can. But if you wanna try this, since Flint does have it, you can get various size decants. My recommendation is that you do try it because it's unique, you guys. It's gourmand and it's peach. And I just feel like that's a combination for either you're gonna love it or it's not gonna work for you. <laughs> so try it before you buy it. But I think this is worth the price point. Wonderful performance, okay? Mm. Yeah, it lasts. I would say I get a good eight to 10 hours out of this one. And it's just, it's something intoxicating about this. When other people wear it around me, my family members, I'm like, girl, what? I'm sniffing them, I'm complimenting them 20 times a day. I just can't, okay? I cannot with this fragrance. Bon Bon Pop is that girl and you need it, all right? So one that is just, I've been raving about this all summer and it's just, it's, it's an obsession for me. I absolutely love it. And from the House of Oud. Okay, so the next one is also a peach. Ooh, what is it with all the peaches? Oh my God, nectarine, peach, peach. Well, peach. And this is not even supposed to be a peach video, but apparently, like when I get together my list, I don't, I'm not thinking about what notes and what, I'm just, my most worn, okay, let me get what I've been wearing the most. And this has just kind of been it. So, Peche Cardinal, another peach. <laughs> this is the most realistic, beautiful, juicy, uh, it's, it's almost like, it's so hard to describe you guys, but it's so beautiful. It's white floral and it's sweet, but it's not overly sweet like, your 100 Silent Waist is white floral and peach, but it is super, super, super sweet to the point where it may be too much for a lot of people. This one is perfectly like sweet, feminine, floral, youthful. Like it's, it's, so, it's so many things and it's so beautifully done. If you're looking for a stand out, beautiful, feminine, like soft, you've got like, I don't know. I, I don't know what you got on, but <laughs> I feel like this girl would have on something with like some type of lace or frills or like, I don't know. Like, I don't know what I'm trying to describe, but this is a girl's girl. Um, just very, very quintessential feminine, very different, you know? from anything else on this list. So not only does it have peach, it also has plum, which you get because the plum is in the heart notes. Um, it has some coconut, but it doesn't come off as like this super robust creamy coconut, kind of like it does in here. Um, but the coconut, it's just there, having to balance things out. Again, this comes off as very fresh, not an off fruit. It's got blackberry and black currant. I feel like the way they have blended this, okay? Everything is just melding together, macerating together to create something just beautiful. Again, feminine. It's got some musk, some sandalwood, just a touch of cedar. But if you could picture like this very beautiful girl with youthful um, features and skin and pouty lips and rosy cheeks. And she's got on this white, you know, dress that is just so sensual. Um, that, that if I could find a picture of what I'm trying to describe, like what this girl will look like, okay, I will post it, but it's gorgeous, okay? One of the most realistic, beautiful peaches and you must give this one a try. Absolutely worth the price point to me now, to me. My, maybe not you, but one you should definitely check out. Again, this one is Pesh Cardinal by MDCI.
Okay, so this last one, whiskey wine by, but something like Demi Rawley made me do it, okay? Ah, oh, when I say no regrets, Vanille Leather by BDK is so, so good. Someone, like, someone asked me to compare this with Sugar Leather by Unui Numat, and they don't, like, I don't, just because it has leather, I don't feel like we need to compare those. They're just very different. Sugar Leather is very, like, spicy, cinnamon. I don't see why someone would compare those, these two. I don't get that. This isn't spicy. This is very, it's floral, white floral. It's like this very smooth, understated leather, okay? Understated leather, it's not a leather bomb. You get the leather, but it is very subtle. Subtle leather out of all of anything in my collection that features leather. And I'm not a leather fan. Like, I have very few, and it has to be done a certain way. I do have sugared leather in my collection as well, but I just don't feel like that's really something I'm gonna pull out for this time of year, so we'll save that. But they don't really compare to me. Um, this one is much more refined. You get like this orange blossom. Tuberose is in here, but I get way more orange blossom than tuberose to me. Some people get the complete opposite. So you're gonna have to try it um, to see which one you pick up on the most. But for me, this is more of a purple floral orange blossom as far as the floral component. I think you do have to like that lipsticky uh, violet type of note because it's prominent in here. But this thing is so not linear. It's so not linear. Sometimes I'm getting like this really rich, ambery, robust, um, vanilla, you know, sweet type of thing going on. And then other times I'm getting this very feminine, uh, you know, floral, vanilla. Sometimes I'm getting, you know, this lipsticky. Like it is, it changes, okay? And when I wear, I get different things. It's not the same you know, throughout the life of this. It's just stunning. <laughs> my only BDK love, the only BDK that really remains in my collection. I still have some back rolls, but it's on the declutter like shelf. I don't wear it anymore and I'm about to put it up for sale. But I just feel like this is a standout vanilla. It is a standout for this house because me in this house, we do not vibe at all. I have tried numerous BDKs, okay? So don't try to recommend, I tried Grease Chanel, been there, done that a hundred times. Uh, Rouge Smoking Snooze Fest for me. I'm just not a fan of the house. This one, huge fan, okay? Super fan, love it. Love it and I've been wearing it. When I tell you the men go wild, chased down by two men together, okay? Out of the auto body shop. They was wanting the name, writing it down, um, and I feel like this one, though floral, I feel like this is easily unisex. Oh my God, it is so good. It is so addictive and I just love it. I love it, love it, love it. And again, this one is Vanille Leather by BDK. All right, guys, so that is our video for today. These five fragrances are just ones that I have been wearing the most of. I did not know it would be this many peach and nectarine, but it is what it is. Like these are the ones I've been spraying the most, wearing the most, can't get over, totally obsessed. Um, and in love. So drop me a comment below. Let me know fragrances that you have been wearing the most this summer so far. And be sure you are subscribed to the channel. Make sure notification bell is turned on to all. And last but not least, be sure to give the video a big thumbs up as it does help the channel to grow. It's been real. I love you all YouTube and I will catch you guys on the next one.